September 11th, 2023. This is a garden in Peterborough, Ontario. These are chayote squash. So I think we're in zone B5. Our growing season's only like three months. So these were started indoors around March and then transplanted in late May or early June after the risk of frost has passed. These are trombonkini. They're like zucchini. They're climbing zucchini. This one's probably over four feet long. So these Last year they used to be hairy, like they used to have little, I don't know what you call these, spikes on them. But this year most of them are spike free for some reason. See this one's almost no spikes at all. Anyways, she's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six plants here. But she's, she grows a lot so that because the growing season is so short that she can get a lot for the season. There's Lufus. See, now the te temperature at night will be like 8 degrees. That's a bit cold, but it won't stunt the growth of the squash. But if it gets to like 5, 6 or 5, then all the young all the young squash won't set for won't set it'll just stunt the growth and fall off but this vine a lot of them have two on one this one is two on one stem this bottle gourd she has to hang it like this so that it doesn't snap the vine. Oh, this one's out already almost dried. See? Ow. I think there's over 200 chayote squash here. This is, see? This loofah, this loofah is here, this one's ready. There's a the sponge. It turns. It's going to turn into the loofah sponge. So she'll pick the ones that are mature and save them for the whole winter and they'll sprout again in the spring and that's how she grows it. See? The ones with the strings are the ones that came out first and she's, she's saving them for sprouting next year. Have a nice day everyone.